Good afternoon everyone, this is James the Local Viking and in this video we're going to go over a technique to reduce issues you have when you go and verify a Google My Business listing. So normally you'll go ahead and go to Google My Business, you start creating your listing that you want to get verified. So let's say uh, Bob's Law Firm. Click next, pick the category. Bob is a personal injury attorney. We're going to say that, let's say you want to add a location customers can visit. Yes. And this works for storefront, service area, or hybrid. Uh, what's the address? Uh, just pick any address. This is just a demo. Uh, uh, 100 Main Street in New York or White Plains, that's fine. Is this your business? Click none of those. So this is all standard stuff. This is not the, uh, the method just yet. So we're going to go through this. Setting up the listing. Do you also serve customers outside a location? We'll say no. All these options aren't part of the trick, if you will. What contact details you want to show your customer? You know, if you have a phone number, great. If not, great. Uh, I don't need a website. We'll say no. Okay. We're going to go finish. Let that process. Okay, so what most people at this stage might be inclined to do is send out that postcard or verify it, however, the options you see here. Sometimes you have uh, verify by phone, uh, sometimes you might have verify by email. But the point is to actually not click any of those options and click verify later. And by the way, before I continue this this uh, video, I just want to make it clear that this is a technique that was actually taught to me by a Google support rep who agreed with me after I turned around and said, why is this, you know, this technique I'm showing you in this video more successful than what appears to be the flow of how you have your app set up? And he didn't, he didn't know, but he understood where I was coming from. But just know that instead of verifying the listing on the spot, you want to go back and fill out more details. In fact, you want to fill out every detail you physically can. So we're going to say what our hours are. We can add a description. Photos if you wanted to. And now, instead of, once again, instead of sending out that, that listing through the initial wizard, you went back and now you got to your main dashboard, but your listing is not verified. So if we go to info, now before we send out that postcard, we can go through and fill out every other missing detail that we had. We can go through and make sure everything is correct before we send it out. We can add our additional categories. Can't spell today. Oh. Let's say he was an immigration attorney. Just trying to find a subcategory as an example. You know, we go ahead and add our phone number, special hours, that wasn't an option in the wizard, our service area, if we decided to turn around and add one, our website, products wasn't in the wizard, services, 
know, any attributes you want to add. So by adding everything physically possible before you send out the postcard is going to give you the highest chance of success and the lowest amount of, uh, how would you say it? When you send out a postcard, sometimes it'll get, get stuck in limbo, even though you put in the pin and when you got it. And even after you put in a pin, you have to wait some time before Google's customer service will help you. So to expedite this entire process, you want to just get back to the dashboard where your listing is still unverified, fill all this information out, then go ahead and press finish up. Then press verify now. And now you're once again back at this verified screen. But now you've filled out all your details of your listing and you're in the best possible position for success for the least amount of issues. At this point, type in your name, mail out the postcard, and you're all set. So this concludes our video on reducing the amount of issues you'll have when verifying listings. And stay tuned for the next video. Take care now. Bye.